Welcome to the Learning Lab class, Digital Collections with Overdrive and Libby. My name is Melissa and I'm one of the adult and teen services librarians at the Arcadia Public Library. We're going to be taking a look at how to use the Overdrive app on an Android device. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to download and read an ebook in the EPUB or Overdrive read format, as well as in the Kindle format ebook in the Overdrive app. So let's take a look. In our last video, we've taken a look at how to download an audiobook to your device and the navigation within an e-audiobook. So let's take a look at downloading an EPUB ebook to your device first. I'm going to head back to my loans page and then select an item that I want to download directly to this device in this app. For ebooks, you have to either pick Kindle format or Overdrive Read or EPUB ebook format if both are offered. So you can't download an item in both formats. Once you've picked one format, you can't switch the other one. So let's go ahead and take a look at my loans page to see what different ebooks will end up looking like. So first, I have this John Grisham, The Guardians, and you'll notice that it has two options. I can read now with Kindle or I can download the EPUB ebook. So this is an ebook that's available in both formats and I would need to pick which format I wanted to read it in. And once I did, that would lock in that choice and that would be the only format for that ebook I would be able to download it as. So the other two that I have checked out, uh, this Camino Wins and the Whistler, those I both selected Kindle and we'll be downloading one of those in the Kindle app in a moment. But down here on the bottom, this Robert Caro, that is going to be an EPUB ebook. That is the format that's available for that item. So I'm going to go ahead and select download EPUB ebook. When I click that, it's going to start downloading and I can follow the progress in my left notification on my device or on the file menu options. Again, you can do your browsing and searching on the computer. But if you want to read it and download it locally to a device as an EPUB or an OverDrive read book, you're going to need to be on the device that you want to read it on to do that. It's a little bit different for Kindle, but we'll get there in a second. So again, I'm going to go ahead and click download EPUB ebook. It's going to give me that pop up that it's loading my new title. And if I drop down, it's going to show me that it's downloading the one file blink and you miss it. It happens so quickly. Um, ebooks are pretty small files, so not as big as e-audiobooks. So that download is already done. I'm going to clear out my notifications. Okay, so I'm going to head over to my bookshelf on this device by clicking on the three lines and then heading to bookshelf. And you'll notice that the book that I just downloaded is here. And I can see that it's the ebook because it has that little book icon in its upper right corner. And the one next to it is the audiobook that we downloaded in the previous video, and that has a little headphones icon next to it. So here on my bookshelf is where I can launch this EPUB ebook to read in my device. This will work exactly the same for Overdrive Read. They're pretty much an interchangeable format. It'll just depend on what it's available as. So to read this, uh, I would just click on the cover. You'll notice that when I launch this, it indicates to me that I've been reading this book on another device and it is asking me if I want to go to that place in this book. I can jump ahead to where I left off in a previous session of reading. So I can select yes or no. I'm going to do no just so I can show you um, how to move through this book, but you do have that option. And that is one of the functions of signing into the app with your account or your library card. It can sync the materials across devices. So to move through the book, you would just click or swipe um, on the right and the left hand side, depending on which direction you want to move the pages. So if I tap on the right hand side of the book, it will advance the pages. If I click on the left-hand side, it will bring me back a page. So I'm gonna continue going forward. 
just to show you what it looks like. You'll get through all the um, chapters and all the front material. To access the menu for an ebook, you're just going to want to tap on the center of the screen and it's going to bring you these additional menu options right up top just like we saw in the e-audiobook, but these ones hide when you're reading so that they don't interrupt what it looks like on the page. So you would just tap the center of the page to get them to show up and you would tap again to make them disappear. You'll notice in the upper left side, there's a back button that'll bring you back to your bookshelf. If I wanna go back into the book, I would just select the book again, and you'll notice it'll bring me back to the page that I was on. If I tap on the center again to bring up the menu, I, on the right-hand side, have the gear, which gives me a lot of options about how the book displays, the brightness of the screen, the color scheme, font size, spacing, all sorts of stuff. So you can definitely play around with that to make this a more pleasurable reading experience. I'm going to back out of that. The next icon is the ribbon, and that allows you to add bookmarks. And then there is the three lines with the little squares, and that's the chapter area. So you can navigate to different parts of the book. Again, the little eye gives you a little bit more information about the book. It gives you a description and when you added it to your bookshelf, when you last read it, and when it will expire. And then all the way on the right-hand side is your bookmarks, and that is how you would navigate to the different places. You have placed a bookmark in your EPUB or Overdrive Reads ebook. Finally, let's go take a look at Kindle format ebooks. So on my loans page, just like on a computer, if I click the Read Now with Kindle, it's going to prompt me to log into my Amazon account. You'll want to log into the Amazon account that is connected to the device you want to send the ebook to. So once you sign into your Amazon account, which I'm going to do right now, I'm going to click on this Read Now with Kindle for this new one that I just borrowed. It's going to have me sign into my Amazon account. And I will sign in and then I will show you what the next step looks like. So I've signed into my Amazon account and you're going to be given the option to get library book. And then you're going to want to select the device that you want the item delivered to. So I'm going to send it to this Android device that I'm on and I'm going to say get library book. So I'm going to click on that and it'll give me a confirmation. So now I'm going to close this app and I'm going to go to my already downloaded Kindle app on this device. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And when I open that up, it's going to automatically sync that book to my Kindle app. Now you can just read it from your Kindle app. I've got the confirmation in the upper left screen of my device that it was downloaded successfully. And it's right here and I can go ahead and just click on it and read it within the Kindle app. Again, if you click and tap on the center of the screen, you have additional menu options within the Kindle app. All right, I'm gonna go back to my home screen and I'm going to go back to the OverDrive app. When I relaunch the OverDrive app, I'm still on this Amazon page, but I can get there by navigating back with these back arrows right up at the top. And it'll bring me back to my bookshelf where I can then go back into Southern California Digital Library, repeat the process for additional books, whatever I need to do. So in this video, we went over how to download and read an ebook in both the EPUB or Overdrive Read format, as well as the Kindle format ebooks with the Overdrive app on an Android device. In our next video, we're going to be taking a look at the Libby app on an Android device. Feel free to reach out to library staff if you have any additional questions.